And from what I understand, uh, very, very short run, extremely short run. If you got one of these, uh, I've only heard about them from being out west. This one came from out west. And um, it is just, th these are really hard to come by. Um, I don't, like I said, I have no idea how many were made. Don't write me and say, hey. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Hot Wheels TV. Today, we have all 18 of the Hot Wheels Zamac cars. Now these are exclusive to Walmart, and um, sometimes people find them in other stores. Don't know why, but uh, they're supposed to be just Walmart exclusives. Now Zamac cars are uh, cars that have no paint on them. It's just a bare metal body. And they're called Zamac because of the uh, chemical compound or the materials that they're, that they're made from. Um, and it goes way back to uh, early early 1900s, late 1800s, and at one time they called them pot metal because they just throw all kinds of stuff in a, in a big pot, melted it down, and they would make die cast um, or cast things out of it. So um, the Z stands for zinc, A is for aluminum, M for magnesium, the other A is for and, and the C is for copper. So it is zinc, aluminum, magnesium, and copper. That is Z-A-M-A-C. That's where you get the Zamac from. So uh, we're going to look at all 18. And uh, there are uh, a couple of variations. And one of these variations I have found to be extremely rare. So uh, if you guys get a chance to find one, uh, get it. And if you got one, <laughs> good for you, man. So uh, now I want to I wanna tell you that the, uh, the Tesla Cybertruck has no paint on it but it is not a uh, an official zamac car you could get this at any any other store that sells hot wheels so uh, now if it was a zamac car it would have the zamac logo up above uh, the car itself all right so don't get uh, don't get confused with the tesla and say oh there's 19 because of the tesla no it's not okay so we'll put the tesla over here put the other stuff and we're going to start with these right here. Um, the first uh, three are from the E case. And um, it is the uh, 19, 2019 Mercedes-Benz A-Class. Now, like I said, there's no paint on these at all. So actually, all you're going to have is just tampos on a bare metal body. Um, it has a lime green stripe on the hood. And it also has a uh, black and white Zamac decal on the hood. The grill is done. The front uh, license plate is done. The headlights are done. Tail lights are done. Really nice. Got a license plate back there. Interior is black. And the windows are very, very dark smoked. The wheels are uh, blacked out PR5s. And they have a light green chrome ring around them. And they're the same size all the way around with a black plastic base. From the E-Case again, the 2020 Jeep Gladiator. And that has the, uh, a red and black tampo on the hood. Red and black tampo on the side. Got some uh, dark gray or uh, charcoal. Yeah. Yeah, charcoal gray uh, motorcycles in the back of it. And I'm going to say that maybe the interior is that color also. Um, and the windows are tinted uh, pretty good on it. The base is a very dark charcoal gray, almost a black. Wheels are uh, blacked out bead locks, and they're uh, kind of medium size all the way around. Um, front bumper is charcoal gray so it goes with uh, with the interior and the uh, motorcycles on the back and uh, nothing on the on the grill there's no, uh, no no paint on the grill and nothing on the tail lights either and that is it for the 2020 Jeep Gladiator next one up 
again from the E case. This is the Mazda Repu. And the only tampos on the side are a black Hot Wheel logo on the, on the back of the bed. It's got black Mazda. And it's got the a white, I don't know what kind of, I can't see it that well. A little circle, but when we showed in the pictures, we'll be able to see it much better. Uh, headlights uh, on the grill are done up really nice. Got parking lights or directional lights. And the tail lights, and it says uh, rotary power on the back of the tailgate. And uh, like I said, taillights are nice. Has side markers on it. Uh, front one is orange, back one is red. Interior is black, and the window looks to be uh, clear. Uh, the rear bed liner is black also. The base is black plastic, and the wheels are a dark gray five spoke, small ones all the way around. Next one up is from the F case, and that is the Nissan R390 GT. One, and uh, that is, let's see, any tampos on this? Nothing really, just the, the headlights, the grill, the, uh, the directional lights, uh, rear tail lights, looks like some vents in the back are painted black. Interior is black, windows are clear on this, and the base is uh, black plastic. The wheels are uh, blacked out BBS wire wheels. And they're uh, small ones all the way around. Next one, F case again, 69 Copo Corvette. And uh, that has a blue stripe on the roof, blue stripe and uh, black tampos with a uh, white box outlined in blue with a black 69 in it on the, uh, on the L88 hood scoop. Uh, black and blue stripes on the side with uh, white and black tampos also the no uh the, the tail lights aren't done up or the or the headlights aren't done up it's got a black plastic base which goes with the uh the lower valance and the lower grill um interior is black plastic and the window is a light blue transparent the wheels are uh the the, the nice chunky blacked out five spokes with a chrome ring around them. Got big ones in the back and little ones in the front. And that is it for the 69 Copo Corvette. Another one from the F case. Now you, you see me looking on the back here. A lot of people don't know, but if you uh, look up at the top, only on the, uh, the US released, because the uh, internationals don't have this type of markings. Um, the last letter up here will tell you what case it's from u.s stuff only so it says uh m9 c o f and uh the f is for the f case all right all right so this is the big air bel air and man uh, there's tampos all over this thing it's got uh, uh orange and red stripes on the hood it's got uh orange and red on the side White over black tampos on the side. Got a uh, white and black Goodyear, and um, yeah, there's some, there's some, uh, there's a red Hot Wheel, red and white Hot Wheel logo behind the front wheel on the front fender. Uh, interior is orange, and it's got a roll cage with some uh, some lights sticking out of the roof. Got some suspension in the front there, or is that uh, the headers? Ah, I don't know. Could be. Uh, no, that's that. That's suspension because the header. The exhaust comes out behind the front wheel, so that's got to be some suspension. Got uh, something sticking out of the trunk there, too. Uh, base is black plastic, and the wheels are uh, black off-road five spokes, big ones, all the way around with a light chrome orange ring around them. And that is the Big Air Bel Air. This is from the J case, and this is the Ford Mustang Mach-E. 1400 and uh, this has got a black roof with Ford logo on it and uh, there is uh, white and red Ford performance there are black plastic scoops coming out of the hood I don't know why because there's no engine up there but who knows maybe just to cool the cool what the motor yeah probably to cool the motor huh those motors have to uh, they get pretty hot, from what I hear. 
It has a uh, black plastic grill, which probably goes with the black interior. The windows are a dark red transparent. The base is black plastic. And uh, let's see, tampos on the side are a very dark charcoal gray on the door. Got uh, red and blue and black tampos on the side. And the wheels are uh, blacked out Y5s all the way around. And uh, they're pretty nice, a really thin tire. And that is it for the Ford Mustang Mach E 1400. I got to tell you, uh, got to ride in one. You know my buddy Dave Tucci. Uh, I always show you stuff from his, his custom shop. Uh, they got one directly from Ford, and before they even touched it, uh, Dom, Dominic uh, Tucci gave me a ride in one in, in it, and man, wow, like a carnival ride, fast, very, very fast, very, very quick. It makes no noise, so you know me, I gotta have noise. Got to shake the ground when I go by. <laughs> but no, nah, that the thing was crazy fast. The uh, another one from the J case, seventy one Dodge Charger. My buddy Lynn had one of these, pretty cool car, and uh, it has man, it's paint all over it. You know why? Because it is the, one of the, the art cars. And uh, man, they put stuff all over these things. Uh, it says, Hot Wheels in red with a big black Y on the roof. Uh, blue art and red cars on the hood with the uh, a blue Dodge logo and some red and blue pinstripe all around it. The side has 71 in a dark blue and Dodge in red and Charger in black. I got a red Hot Wheel logo on the on the nose for in front of the front wheel, and the uh, black and white Zamac decal behind the door. Uh, wheels are a blacked out Steelys, same small ones all the way around. The back ones have a a darker blue chrome ring on them. The front ones have a red chrome ring on them. The front grille is black plastic goes with the black plastic base no uh, paint on them at all and the rear bumper and tail lights are uh, the same as the uh, same as the grill nothing you know nothing no, no detail on them got black interior and the windows are a dark red transparent and that is it for the 71 dodge charger all right next one up is from the j case also this is bone shaker want to a lot of people like the Bone Shaker. I like the Bone Shaker. Uh, only tampos on the, well, actually got something on the hood there. It says uh, 68 in uh, blue and black. It's got some blue and white and black stripes up there on each side of the, the uh, fuel injection. Got black and blue and white tampos on the side. Uh, nothing, f uh, no, no, uh, no, no paint for the taillights or anything. Interior is chrome. The uh, fuel tank is chrome in the back. Engine is chrome. Front grille is chrome. Uh, it has a black plastic base. The wheels are uh, blacked out steely. It's got really big ones in the back and bigger, or not bigger ones, but big ones in the front. I should have said that different, huh? Got big ones in the front and bigger ones in the back with a, uh, a light blue chrome ring around them. And uh, that is it for the... Uh, the bone shaker. Now, this is the L case. This is what uh, what we're going to get to. Now, I'm going to. All right, let's do it now. All right, the Volkswagen Baja Bug. Now, there's an orange and a light blue and a white stripe on the side with uh, with some tan in there. Uh, white tampos with white. VW logo. The roof is black plastic. It's got a white square with uh, with some black in it. And uh, I don't know what this other thing is here. Uh, it's orange over white. The uh, interior is light gray and goes with the uh, engine in the back. The windows are a dark, I want to say they're teal. Okay, teal transparent. The base is black plastic and it has a big uh, grill guard or push bumper or whatever you want to call it on the front and also one around the engine in the back there uh, and the base 
again, like I said, it, it's black plastic. Now, this is the this is this is the intriguing part. The wheels on this one here, uh, the tires are a tan, and the wheels are chrome B locks, all the way around. Now, this one here is the same exact car, but it has the off-road six spokes with a chrome ring around them. And from what I understand, uh, very, very short run, extremely short run. If you got one of these, uh, I've only heard about them from being out west. This one came from out west. And um, it is just, th these are really hard to come by. Um, I don't, like I said, I have no idea how many were made. Don't write me and say, hey, how many were made? Of the I don't know, but I have only seen a handful of these. So I know they're out there. I've seen them on eBay. Uh, like I said, a handful, a couple, two, three. I, I don't know how many I've seen, but not a lot. All right. So if you have one with the off-road six spokes on it, hang on to it. All right. Because um, they're really, really short run. Uh, the only other one that I've seen use this wheel was the, uh, the light blue regular issue. Um, and then uh, everything changed to to the uh, you know the other the the, the beadlock wheel, but the the Zamek Baja Bug, uh, like I said, I've only seen a handful with these wheels, and I know they're real. I know they're out there. So if you got one, cool. If you're looking for one, go get it, find it. But uh, yeah, really tough piece. All right, okay. Next one up from the L case again is the Honda S2000. And if you ever drove one of these things, man, they're crazy fast, just the way they are. Uh, let's see, tampos on this. Uh, headlights, that is it on the front. Uh, there's a, a black plastic grill in there. It goes with the black plastic base. Interior is black. Windows are really, really smoked dark on this. Tail lights are really nice. Got a license plate done up there. Uh, it's got the, the fifth brake light across the across the trunk lid. And the wheels are yellow PR5s. And uh, there's some tampos on the side there behind the front wheel. Uh, and again, uh, black plastic base. So that is it for the Honda S2000. Next one up is the uh, L case again. And that is the Alfa Romeo 8C Compact. Competizione. Zioni? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, this is it. Only tampos on this are uh, the headlights, the emblem in the center uh, of the grill. The grill looks to be uh, black plastic. Goes with the black plastic base. Tail lights are done. Uh, there is a part of the, the, the base or maybe the black interior. Um, for the for the license plate, but there's nothing on the license plate, just black plastic. Windows are smoked really, really dark. Wheels are uh, chrome Y5s. Got big ones in the back and little ones in the front. And that is it for the Alfa Romeo 8C. I'm not going to say it again because I can't pronounce it. <laughs> this is from the N case, and this is the Batmobile. And let's see what's uh, I don't see any. Well, the only thing up on the top there is the is the brake light uh, up on the on the roof. That's red. Uh, in the back there are the regular brake lights. They are done up. And I'm going to say that the the chrome on this is uh, black tint chrome. You can see the uh, I don't know if they're valve covers or whatever in the in the hood sticking out of the hood and stuff in the back. The exhaust, uh, can't be exhaust, well maybe, I don't know. But the taillights are uh, are also painted onto that black tint chrome. Interior, black tint chrome. There is a Zamac decal behind the front wheel, and I don't see any white behind it. All I see is just the black Zamac uh, and uh, the, the little Zamac logo there. So uh, check it out. If you have another one, I'm going to see if I can find one. And see if there should be, uh, if there's one with white behind it. All right. 
The uh, windows look to be a really light tint. The wheels are chrome aero disc, got big ones in the back and smaller ones in the front. The base is a dark gray or dark charcoal plastic base. There is a black tint chrome lower valance, maybe like a bumper on the front. And above that is a dark charcoal gray, uh, maybe headlights or, or grill or something there. But that goes with the dark charcoal gray uh, plastic base. And that is it for the Batmobile from the N case. Next one up is the 06 Pontiac GTO. And uh, let's see, the headlights are done. And it looks like the, the two grills there, uh, are they have black tampo on them. There's also a lower grill that has black plastic through it, which is part of the black plastic base. Interior is black plastic. Windows are a very dark blue transparent. Back has uh, no decal or, or no detail on the taillights or anything there. Uh, let's see. Tampos on the side. There are dark blue and blue pearl and black and white. And that is it. There's a whole bunch there you can see. Them. The wheels are dark blue chrome Thigh spokes got big ones in the back and little ones in the front and that is it for the 06 Pontiac GTO next one up is in the N case and this is the 68 El Camino we got two of those I want to tell you the difference in those also uh, it has a lot of white pinstripe on the hood and the roof and it also has um, like rust they put rust in the in the tampo to make it look like it's rusting, I guess. And the side tampos are uh, rust, white, and black on the door. The door says uh, Hot Wheels Speed Shop. The uh, Zamac logo, black and white, is behind the rear tire on the, on the rear of the, the quarter panel. And the interior is black. Engine in the back is black. And the windows are tinted pretty good on this. The wheels are um, blacked out MC5s with a red chrome ring on them. Got big ones in the back and little ones in the front. Now, this has a chrome base, which is uh, also includes the front grille, the headlights, and the rear bumper. Uh, this one here, I noticed that they have uh, a different size fonts for you base guys. All right. And you can see here in the uh, in the picture the difference between the two, and also you can see the production numbers on there too. So uh, if you are a base guy collecting different base variations, uh, keep your eyes out for these two right here on the '68 El Camino from the N case. All right, uh, the Q case. And this is the Dodge Viper RT10. And that has orange and yellow and black stripes on the hood. Has the uh, Viper logo on the nose. Uh, nothing else. The headlights aren't done or the grill or anything like that aren't done. No taillights. Uh, well, I mean, it's got taillights, but there's no paint on the taillights. Interior is a dark blue plastic. Window is a dark blue uh, transparent, the windshield. The wheels are blacked out PR5s with a red chrome ring around them. Got big ones all the way around. And uh, Tampo on the side is a yellow and red over black Hot Wheels logo. And uh, there are two black Tampos on the rear quarter panel. Uh, the lower one is the black over white Zamac logo. And uh, it's got blue side pipes, which go with the blue plastic interior. And the base is black plastic also. And that's it for the Dodge Viper RT10. Again, from the Q case, this is a 69 Camaro convertible. And it has really thin black stripes on the, uh, on the hood, going, going over the cowl hood there, uh, which go to the front. And they turn into stripes uh, down onto the side of the fender. There is a, uh, it's got side marker lights, 
dark red one in the back and an orange one in the front. Has a uh, Zamac logo behind the front wheel along with uh, Camaro. Looks like Camaro SS maybe. Uh, we'll see when we get the, get the picture in there. The wheels are uh, dark gray MC5s. Got big ones in the back, little ones in the front. Interior is black plastic and the window's got a, got a good tint to it, the windshield. The front end, nothing is detailed on that, and nothing detailed on the back either for, for taillights. And it has a black plastic base. That's it, 69 Camaro convertible. Last one up from the uh, Q case is the 84 Audi Sport Quattro. And let's see what's up on the top. Just some black plastic vents coming through. The side has black, yellow, and orange tampos with uh, some black, lots of black sponsor stuff all over it, and a uh, black over white uh, number one with a Hot Wheels logo on the on the door. Uh, let's see. The front grill is done up. The headlights are done up, and uh, the Audi logo in the center of the grill is painted. Tail lights are not. There's nothing, no detail on the tail lights. The interior is uh, black, and the windows are very, very dark, smoked, and it looks like a, a dark gray something um, on the top of the windshield there for some reason. I can't make it out if it says anything, but we'll see when we do the picture. Um, and it has white painted aero discs all the way around and a black plastic base. So that's it. That is all 18 of the Zamac cars for 2022, along with the base variation on the El Camino, and of course the wheel variation on the Volkswagen Baja Bug. So uh, uh, if you guys can find that Baja with the, the off-road six spokes, let me know. Uh, put, it in the, put it in the comments below and let us know how many you found, where you found them. Like I said, as far as I know, it was only uh, out west from what I've seen. So, uh, yeah, let me know. All right, cool. Please subscribe. Please give us a thumbs up. It helps uh, the algorithm so everybody gets a chance to see our stuff. Um, and please uh, share our videos. Please tell your friends. And, of course, please be kind to one another. So until the next time, we see you right here at Hot Wheels TV. Really appreciate you guys stopping by. I hope you guys uh, take care. All right. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.